I'm bored. Lonely. Cold. I guess I'm trapped in this orbit forever. Unless I finally get caught in the gravitational pull and come back down for my self orbital confinement. Well, at least I don't even need to breathe since I'm dead already. What the? What's happening? Oh, my satellite fans are flying away from the Earth. Wait, my friends, where are you going? Come back, I feel lonely again. Wait a minute, the satellites are flying away. I'm falling back down. Oh no, I'm gonna burn up in the atmosphere. I think I'm approaching the speed of sound. I'm burning really hot. Ah! Hey Dan, I heard some noises coming from your room. Is everything alright? I'm fine, Mom. I just had a bad dream. I just attempted to come make an announcement to my YouTube channel about some updates on what videos I'm going to make in the future, only to be interrupted by Bone Six and the Black Thrasher. Oh, okay. As, just as long as everything's alright, I don't have to worry. You know what, Mom? Uh, you're right. But still, I'm quite concerned that at least one of my worst enemies may come back. Really? Who do you think it is? Well, I'm not fully sure about this, Mom, but since I buried the Black Thrasher at the end of the movie, Return of the Black Thrasher, I think it's probably Bone Sticks. Bone Sticks? I thought you strapped him onto a V2 rocket and sent him spiraling into outer space. Yeah, but is it possible for him to, like, uh... Fall back to Earth? Fall back to Earth? Oh, I don't know, Mom. He'll probably burn up in the atmosphere. Well, we'll talk about it in the morning. For now, you get some rest. Yeah, sure. Good night, Mom. Ah! I don't know if I can say this crazy any longer. Ah! Oh no, I can't cry. Ah! Boss, we have reported a small meteor that impacted across the Treehouse Space 3000 last night. Number two, seriously, have you been watching too many science fiction films with number one again? No, boss, I have not been watching any science fiction films for about a week now, but this is no science fiction I'm talking about. I'm talking about a real event that occurred in the present day. Look, number two, I'm just getting up. Can I at least have my breakfast before you take me to the Treehouse Base 3000 just to see an alien mirror or whatever it is you're talking about? Well, have a quick one. I'll be in Spift with the others waiting for you. Alright, I'll see you at the car. Did you tell our boss? Yes, number one, I told him. He's having breakfast now. How long do you think he'll be? Hope it won't be an hour! He'll be like a few minutes or so! I really hope this isn't what I'm afraid it might be! What do you think it might be? I think it's that evil skull! What evil skull? The one that sticks for a bunny! You mean bone sticks? Oh come on, Whippy! He can't possibly have come back! We launched him into our space on a rocket nine years ago, remember? That's true, but I felt a feeling like he has finally re entered the atmosphere! That's highly unlikely! He has no retro rockets! Trip by me does re in the atmosphere! He'll burn up in the atmosphere! That's the most likely result of re entry was possible without the use of retro rockets! Besides, an ordinary human skull can't possibly survive the extreme temperatures of burning up in the atmosphere! Sure, space rocks are stronger than a human skull, but they do bring up in the atmosphere! A thermal protection shield, like the one on the space shuttle, is required to prevent a burn up in the atmosphere. Wow, this is no ordinary skull! Mr. Big Guy would be both of you stop me arguing. The boss is walking to the car now! Alright, men. You better be right about this meteor impact. Because if you're not so healthy, I am going to send you to court martial and I'll give severe demotions to all four of you. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir! Good. Oh, I got a mess.
house of Skull Lake. I must find somewhere where I can hide until I fully recover. For that, I'm going to need a stick fight because my arm was destroyed by a Suzuki Park and his friends. He used my weaknesses against me. I now understand why we really went wrong. It's not because of some stupid crew members I haven't accounted for. That's why it wasn't the case, Mike, like Suzuki told me it was. He was wrong. The error of my ways was that I originally planned to take Simsky's bones from him before digging up the black thrasher of it and reassembling him. The other way around should have taken place. Well, I'm now back on it after spending nine years in suborbital confinement. I shall try my plan again. But this time around, I'm gonna put black thrasher back together and you'll be invincible! He and I will be the ones to finally bring down Sari Sam Pazes Studios. <laughs> Just hang on, Black Thrasher. I'll be right there right after I make a new body for myself. Ah, I feel better than ever. Here I come, Black Thrasher. Uh oh, I've got to get out of here. Right. It seems to me that indeed Bo Six has returned. And if that's the case, he's probably after the Black Thrasher helmet. Good, good, this clear. Now, where's the burial chamber? Oh, there it is, there it is. Huh? Seriously? Well, I hope it's something that's easy to guess. Access denied. Hmm, he's smarter than I thought. Maybe I'll try. Access denied. Not the name of his YouTube show, either. I can't believe he's too smart to have something like this be locked into the easy group to crack password. Unless... Wait, I think I got it. Access denied. Why? Now is he? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. I've got to get out of here now! Huh? It's the alarm! Bonesix has stole the Black Dodger away! We gotta stop him now! out here since both six has probably set a trap for us
Now we go in that place. Sir, it might be a trap. Whippy, what are you talking about? We ground up the trap with our tires, remember? True, but there could be guards waiting for us, leaving black treasure. Oh no, I have a very bad feeling about this. When Bone Six had used the evil living branches trap as a decoy to buy him time to revive the black treasure helmet. Where am I? Hey, where'd this skull come from? I'm the one who has freed you from the burial chamber I found you in. A talking skull? Wow, I got it. I never met a talking skull before. But anyways, I am the Black Thrasher. And who are you, Mr. Talking Skull? My name is Bone Sticks, and I know you're the Black Thrasher. How do you know me? I've been nearby the HQ in 77 Pacer Studios Incorporated all along. I saw you in Dan Simsky when you two first met in 2007. I saw you try to pursue him. I was really confident that you were actually capable of bringing Simsky down by yourself. But you failed miserably despite your strength. I even saw the plasma missile land you and do your blow you up. In fact, that was my very first attempt to try to join the battle. But fortunately for me, the same missile that knocked you up for six months also knocked me up for two years. When I came to in 2009, I gathered up my skeleton engine and set out with them to bring down Zeiss and Pacer Studios Incorporated. And did you succeed? No, Black Treasure. I was absolutely unsuccessful in defeating him. My plan was believed to be perfect. I intended to lure Simsky into a trap, which took the form of my evil living branches at the entrance of my residence. While that part of my plan worked, I made one of the worst mistakes any villain could make. And what was that mistake? I let him have his last meal, a hot pocket before he came back and agreed to surrender his bones to me. And I gave him ten minutes to eat his lunch. And he did not give my henchmen any difficulty whatsoever. When he came back, I was about to cut him open to access his bones. A board from the aircraft mounted machine gun broke off the only thing I had that was capable of easily tearing through human flesh. I trusted him, and he stalled me as a result. I should have stolen his bones when I had the chance. However, even with my finger broken off, if any of my henchmen were quick enough, they could have picked up my severed finger as such. Could have had another chance to take the bones from Simsky's body. And you know who got to the finger first? Simsky. Like, who else? Of course Simsky got to the finger first before we did. Next, he ran off back to his home, opened the fireplace, and burned my broken finger, rendering it impossible for me to pierce through his flesh. Next, we fought each other, but Simsky grabbed me by the neck before I could bite him, then broke my head from my sick body, and threw me to the ground, winning easily. At least that's why it seems as I was as able to grow to the size of a tree after that. We were about to fight again from then on when his mother called him into the house to empty the dishwasher for her. You see, at that point, he kept stalling me more and more and we argued a lot. It's unclear exactly how he managed to counterfeit himself while he was emptying the dishwasher, but that's exactly what he did, making me think I crushed him when I really didn't. The whole battle was stalled by means of one argument after another between me and Zemsky himself, and it eventually culminated in him winning the fight, attaching me to a rocket, which he then launched up into our space, where I spent the past nine years in some over confinement with only space satellites for me to talk to. Wait a minute, you talked to satellites? Oh come on, Bone Six, you're sick! Well, I had to have someone or something to socialize with. Will you expect me to feel lonely? No. Exactly! Alright, 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 take it easy. Didn't mean for you to get upset. Okay, Black Thrasher. Here's my plan. You and I are to join forces to bring down 77 Pacer Steers Incorporated. After that, everyone on the plan will become evil living skeletons. And if I fully succeed, 
Most see to your efforts to assist me. You shall be accepted to everyone on the planet Earth being a skeleton. But if you fail me, you shall join everyone else as a skeleton. Now don't you fail! Am I clear? Crystal clear, Mr. Bone Sticks. Just call me Bone Sticks! Master, there's a car sitting outside our base. It's a red 1977 AMC Pacer with complete with some spy gear. That's Simsky's car! The spy Pacer 5000! In that case, attack the vehicle before it can get away. Well, sir, we're just skeletons. We break easy. I don't want any excuses! Go out and attack the enemy vehicle outside or I'll break you apart! Yes, sir. Activate machine laser. Machine laser activated. <laughs> they really think they have a chance against me. But yeah, their attempts to attack me just results in them getting really busted up. You know, Bone Six, I don't think it was necessary for you to threaten your own men will force them to carry out your orders like that. Black Thrasher, it's all necessary. They just want to be cowards. I mean, they can do my dirty work. But the problem is the fact that they are just not willing to do what I ask nicely. So I must actually demand them to do what I want them to do. Look, Bone Sticks, I may be evil, but I have standards. It really bugs me to see a leader of evil skeletons abuse his own men. One of these days, some of your men will be so fed with your abusive demands that they might have siding with whoever you're fighting against. Who do you think you are, Joseph Stalin? Joseph who? Stalin. Never heard of him. He was a ruthless dictator who was the leader of the Soviet Union from 1922 to 1953 when he died. He treated his people and his military horribly. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I heard enough of from you about this Joseph Stalin, stupid, stop eating. Stalin. Whatever! Master. Well, what news do you have for me? Did you and your squad destroy the enemy spy vehicle outside? I'm sorry to say, sir. I'm the last one in my unit. The others were broken up into millions of pieces, and- You retreated away from the battle without my okay? You dare walk away from the battle and start fight to your last breath? This is treason against me, the all-powerful bone sticks. All cowards and trains will be broken apart. No, sir. Please don't break me apart. I can explain. The vehicle was bulletproof. We did manage to score direct hits on the enemy vehicle, but they didn't leave a scratch. We even fired a rocket made bones at the car, but even that proved to be effective. Chances are that the car is armored like a tank. Well, what weapon was the vehicle armed with? A machine laser, sir. A laser weapon? You could have gotten a mirror out and have his energy beam fight back at him. I'm really gonna break you apart for cowardice. No, Bone Six, don't break him apart. Give him a second chance and a mirror. Stay out of this, Black Thrasher! These are my men, not yours! Sir, please, listen to Black Thrasher. It would really be a smart idea for you to just give me a mirror to deflect the laser beam from the enemy vehicle outside. Alright, soldier. I'll give you a second chance and use the mirror along with it. But you understand exactly what will happen if you fail me again, correct? Yes, sir, and thank you. Sir, one has a skeleton sighted in the vicinity. Hold your fire. He might be surrendering, and he's got a bag or something. Put me on megaphone. But, sir, it might be a trick. So what? He's just a skeleton. He breaks easy. And I gave you a direct order, Spiff. Put me on megaphone now! You that carry in that bag. Give yourself up and show us what is in that bag you're carrying. This isn't what you think, Simpsky. You can't trick me, Bonehead. I can see right through you. Now either you show us what is in the bag right now, or we'll open fire. Good idea, do that. No, we're giving you a fair chance to show us what is in that bag you're holding, and you're just simply letting it go to waste. No, I am not going to show you what is in my bag until you fire a shot at me. But you won't be able to if we just blow you to bits with our laser gun. This is your last chance. Unveil the contents of your bag at once or you'll be fired upon! No way, I'm ready for your energy breath. 
Make it so I can be with my fallen comrades. <sighs> All right, right, you asked ask for it. Locked on target, ready? No, sir, don't shoot. Number one, what are you doing? This might be a trick. It's Captain Feathers' is one of Six's henchmen. Especially he's most trustworthy. It could be Sting Up or G Sam for us. Oh, yeah, watch this. Oh no, Amir, look out! Is everyone okay? Yes, I'm fine! In one piece! Still alive! I'm here too! I'm still alive too. Lucky the laser was sent to the lowest power state, otherwise you have destroyed us all. Yeah, I'm just glad that everyone's alright. Can we fire the laser again? I'm sorry to say that the fucking energy beam destroyed the very weapon that created it. We had to actually destroy our own laser weapon because of the mere skeleton soldier had. Oh, what have I done? Number one, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. Apology accepted, boss. All that matters is the fact we're all still alive and in one piece. <laughs> all right. Now it's my turn. For I got a little surprise for that little troublemaker. Dano, what are you doing? You're bringing an energy weapon with you to fight someone who wants a mirror to fight the energy belts. You'll get killed. At least that's what it looks like. <laughs> Sir, wait, before you go, you must take this new leather jacket with you. Seriously, another accessory upgrade? Must I always get an upgrade to myself on every mission I go on with you, Spiffed? But sir, it's necessary. You have this old brown leather jacket since you began your YouTube adventures back in 2007. Look at it now, it's really worn! Spiffed, are you insane? I am not gonna give up on this jacket because it... This jacket I has got history. Lots of it too! Sir, it's not really a different jacket. It's actually an upgrade I'm gonna give your old jacket. Why didn't you say so? Okay, here it goes. There you go. Great! Nice looking jacket. Thanks, Biffed. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> huh? Hold on a second. Didn't I deflect the laser before you fired at me with my mirror? Yeah, but I didn't think it was necessary for me to up the power setting at all. Besides, you guys don't really take much damage anyway. Even if we're just a toy gun I was using on you. Look, Simsky, I'm a bit confused. You just fired a laser bolt from your car at me, only to have it reflected at you. And yet you come up to me to fire a handheld laser gun at me from point point range? That's committing suicide, isn't it? That doesn't really matter. Besides, due to the low power setting, other than the machine laser on my car being destroyed, the, the beam didn't really do much damage to, to my car anyway, or at all for that matter. Now get your mirror out, will ya? But Simsky... Get your mirror back out at once! Oh no, Simsky survived his own energy bolt. He used an ordinary firearm on my only surviving soldier. It must make more soldiers. Black Joshua is up to you now. Go out and bring back our surviving soldier away from my further instructions. But Bone Six, what about Simsky? Shouldn't we go after him and his crew? We'll just let him go. Let him go? Bone Six, if we let him go, he'll buy him enough time to bring his entire army after us and bring us down instead of the other way around. Well, we need to rebuild my army. You are my only hope now in defeating Simsky and bringing down 77 Pacers to as incorporate, at least until I have all my fallen soldiers rebuilt. But Bosex, how could you bring all your dead soldiers back to life? They're dead! They've always been dead. They're living dead skeletons. I can bring them back to life. All of them! Now bring my soldier survivor down or you shall be broken apart yourself! Alright, alright, alright! Alright, skeleton soldier. Are you ready to say your prayers before I pull the trigger again? <laughs> Alright. Prepare to face your doom. 
by the power of bone sticks. No! Oh, ow, 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 my foot! Dale, get in! Right! Oh, well, guess I'll deal with you later. I managed to deflect the laser ball from the spy base of 5000, although it did hit the vehicle, it only destroyed the laser weapon. Other than that, the car didn't take any damage at all. How? How can this be? Daniel had the vehicle's laser weapon set to all his power setting. Oh, and wait, hold on a second. How did you get broken in half? And what happened to my mirror I trusted you with? He came up to me and pulled out what I thought was a handheld laser gun, but turned out to be a 357 Magnum revolver in disguise. He tricked me into pulling my mirror back out. I swear I didn't know it was a revolver in disguise until it was too late. But I'm sorry to say, he broke the mirror and my bottom half. Oh, that cheater. He will pay severely for this. But anyways, what happened next? Next, just when Dale was about to pull the trigger on his revolver, Black Thrasher here pushed him as I had knocked him down. Black Thrasher was about to finish down off when one of his cameramen from his car fired a sniper rifle at the former's ankle, buying the latter time to get away. You're not gonna break me apart, are you, boss? No, soldier, you have done well. Congratulations on your efforts of deflecting that laser beam from the spy base of 5000. The next phase of the plan is to assault the base of 77 base to the Incorporated. With the help of the Black Thrasher, we shall defeat his armor, capture some sea, take the bones from his body, and I will make them mine! Eventually, everyone else on the planet shall become evil living skeletons. A black dash of congratulations on rescuing my sole surviving skeleton soldier. It was an honor, and what's my next assignment? Your next assignment is to follow Simpson back to his base and cause admire him. Take notes of what you have got at least five notes worth of intel. Report them all back to me. Any questions? Yes, Bosex. Why should everyone on Earth be skeletons instead of normal living breathing creatures with their blood, bones surrounded by flesh and blood? I mean, isn't that concerned to be prejudiced against humanity? You really don't understand the situation here, do you, Black Thrasher? My motive is to turn this world to the kind that is only inhabited with skeletons. Having flesh and blood on your bones sounds ridiculous as it gives you unnecessary weight. Living skeletons reduce the weight to a minimum! But bone sticks, we need flesh and blood to stay alive. You somehow like you want to kill everyone on the planet. That's absolutely terrible! I'm not gonna argue with you about this anymore. Remember, we made a deal. You help me as best as you can, you shall be the only exception to everyone on the planet of being an even living skeleton. Now get out of here before I have the bones ripped from your body. But bone sticks- No! everyone, here's what's going down. Bone Six and the Black Thrasher have joined forces to try and bring us down, so we must get ready to repel the attack. But first, the machine laser on the Spy Pacer 5000 has to be rebuilt. Everyone else, prepare for war! Hmm, I really wonder whether or not I should really listen to a talking skull that stick for a body. But I'm worried. Defecting the Simsky may sound like a good idea, but Bosex would be mad at me for betraying him. Also, Simsky might just kill me on sight. But if I help Bosex, it will destroy the entire human race, including me! Wait a minute, what is it with all this goodness in my heart? Is it a side effect of having spent ten years in that battle chamber that I was put in? Wait a minute. Now I know what to do. I have to ignore all Bone Six's instructions and side with Simsky and his gang. Simsky. 
Sir, are you sure you can trust the Black Thrasher to carry out the mission you assigned him? I have to trust him because he's the only one who is actually capable of defeating Sipsky. What, do you have any doubts about him? Well, yeah. Like you said earlier, he may be evil by his standards. You see, he might not be as evil as you think he is. What do you mean? The Black Thrasher has been the most evil living creature I've known in this forest here. Well, perhaps he was evil, but he somehow developed goodness in his heart as a side effect of space so long in the burial chamber you dug him out of. Chances are he might end up defecting the Simsky because it believes that you wish to destroy humanity. The chances of that happening are very slim. He is my slave now! If he does betray us, he will both along with Simsky's. Boss, look at the radar! The Black Thrasher is approaching! What? The Black Thrasher? Prepare to attack when he gets in range! Understood, sir! Huh? He stopped moving, but why? Get a live visual in the backyard! Okay! What? He's surrendering? It might be a trick. The Black Thrasher was sent here by Bowstick to attack that as well. He rebuilt his army skeleton soldiers. Be careful! Alright, here's the plan. We're going to take the pacer out, capture the Black Thrasher, and interrogate him. Let's go. Understood, I'll get the others. Alright, Black Thrasher, you are not to move, as we are able to fire on you if you do. Is that understood? Yes, understood, Zipsky. Good. Now get on the ground. Good, Sippy. I gotta tell you. On the ground! Wait, I have to- On the ground now! Oh. Black Thrasher, you are under arrest for hostility against the goodness of Seri Tempacer Field. You have the right to make silence. Oh. Yeah. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Alright, there's something about both that I have to tell you. Well, we'll talk more about bad things. Come on, Black Dodger, let's go! from the windows. If he attempts to thrash me, apprehend him immediately. You promise not to thrash me if I remove your handcuffs? Yes. Definitely? Yes, definitely yes. Turn around. Now sit down in that chair. All right, Black Thunder, what is it that you want to tell me about bone sticks? Well, when he recruited me, he revealed his plan to turn everyone on this planet into the evil living skeletons. He said that if I assisted him as best as I could, I could be spared to being a skeleton, but if I fail, he'll steal not just bones from your body, but also the bones from my body, too. He's never here to spy on you to gather intel about you. Well, then why'd you surrender yourself so easily? Because there was a sense of goodness that swept over me, and I had lost whatever shred of evil I had then. You see, I may have been evil, but I have standards. Even I don't want the world to be inhabited only by skeletons. Bone Six is crazy! And he wants to murder everyone on the planet Earth! Please, Simpson, you gotta help me! Bone Six will kill us all if we don't ditch our feud against each other and join forces to stop him! I'm sorry about all the attacks I made on you! Well, this is new. Switching sides, Black Thrasher? Well, <laughs> I gotta admit, welcome to the good side, Black Thrasher! Thank you, Simpson. But, you do understand exactly what will happen if you go back to your evil ways. Understood? Yes, 100% understood. Good. Let's go. Is there any word from Black Thrasher yet? He's been gone for 20 minutes now! We have not heard anything from Black Thrasher since he left your lair, sir. 
We believe that he's been taken prisoner or something. Well, keep your eyes open for him. He might have some intel for us. Yes, sir. Look, monsters, I may be evil, but I have standards, 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 standards. Alright, everyone. We have a new ally fighting alongside us. Hey, what's up? That's right. Our former nemesis, the Black Thrasher, has switched sides and intends to help us defeat the evil Bone Sticks. However, because of how uh, recently he chose to be good, chances are there might be a slim chance of him uh, becoming evil again. That being said, everyone is to keep a very close eye on the Black Thrasher just in case he does become evil again. But Simsky, I swear, I'm here to help you defeat the evil Bone Sticks and his men. I understand that, Black Thrasher, but I'm just telling you, since we battled against you in 2007 and 2008, you were our primary nemesis until we buried you at the end of when we returned to Black Thrasher. And by the way, you can stop calling me by my last name. From this point on, I am to be called Dano. Alright, Dano. I now understand the consequences that you bestow against me. I'm now under your command, not under Bone Sticks's. That's more like it. So what are we waiting for? Let's break Bone Six and his army into a million pieces! <laughs> What's happening? I'm not sure! It's Bone Six, he sent his army to assault us, and his army is on the attack! Bone Six, Bone Six, Bone Six! Attention everyone, get your defensive position! Hostiles to first we head your way. Return fire on A and all targets. Attack! Bring me some skin black trash or not. I want their bones! Oh, I still love this part, just like old times. Now the crash sent me some basic skills incorporate. Along with the traitorous Black Thrasher, he will pay for double-crossing me! Whoa, this doesn't look so easy now. Mr. Big Guy, fire plasma missile at Bone Six now! Yes, sir! What's on? Fire! Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the end of Bone Six as men! Dono, I doubt that was the real Bone Sticks. Black Dasher, what are you talking about? Did you just see Bone Six just break like a dry twig? Let's go in and see for ourselves. Why is he not in motion? Dano, listen to me. That's not the real Bone Sticks. How would you know if that wasn't the real Bone Sticks? Because the last time I was at the real Bone Sticks is where he started rebuilding his skeleton men. And while he did that, he sent me out here to spy on you and your men. However, I got reason to believe that he counterfeited himself while doing this. While I did gather intel, it's not about you. It's about crazier and evil he is. Well, maybe you, Black Thrasher, can tell me who or what that is that's sitting motionless on the ground if the real Bone Sticks is still at his lair. That can only be a decoy. A decoy? What do you think? Of course a decoy. What do you think? Come on, Dan. What's wrong with you? You think that that was the real Bone Sticks? He would be trying to escape or even rebuild his stick body? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what's your plan, Dan? We gotta go see what's going on with that decoy. I don't recommend that. It could be a trap. Probably even a mine or something like that. 
if we get too close, it would kill us all in the explosion. Well, in that case, Black Thrasher, perhaps I could uh, shoot the uh, explosive charge to set it off. All right, Dale. I'm ready to go with you into the forest to take out the decoy trap. Let's go. Alright guys, the Black Thrasher and I are going to go out and inspect the decoy. Keep an eye on us in case anything goes wrong. I oh, you said! Zipsky Pumpkin, there is the Black Thrasher following him. Black Thrasher, you better thrash him. And more importantly, you have at least five notes of what you about him. If you don't, I'll have your bones ripped from your body along with Zipsky's. What are you waiting for, Black Thrasher? Thrash him already! You traitor. I helped you out of the barrel chamber. This is how you were paying me. I trusted you, and you double-crossed me! Hey, Dale, if we can't go in 20 feet within the trap's radius, how are we going to disable it? Maybe I could take it out with my 357 Magnum. I got it. It's been nice knowing you. You've always been a worthy opponent for me back in 2007, 2008. And even if I were still evil now, which I'm not anymore, I would still side with you if you were facing anyone other than me. Really? That's right, Daryl. I'm dead serious. No one has ever been down sending some place to the cover except me. And also, there's something else I gotta tell you about bone sticks. What is it? Wow, that's a very interesting story that uh, he was a witness to our first encounter back in Dose 7. I'm just glad that we're allies now. Me too, Dale. Good luck. Thanks, Black Thrasher. <laughs> a smoke screen, really? Wait, it's just a. It's a. a t t t t t <laughs> no, so far. No, it's a. Zipski, your fate is in my hands now. And if my suspicions are correct, the Black Thrasher's fate shall be the same. Guards, bring me those two! Boss! Black Thrasher, can you hear us? Boss! Black Thrasher! We lost our boss and the Black Thrasher! No, this can't be happening! The Black Thrasher is evil again! I never really trusted him anyway! Whippy, how could you? Be nice to our new ally. Sure, the Black Thrasher was our enemy, but he's on our side now. From what we've seen most recently, he really looks like he's of his word. But our boss has to keep an eye on him just in case he does turn evil again. I know that would be, but you didn't mean you should talk about our new ally that way. And watch your mouth before saying something that will have you court martialed. You're smack talking about any of our allies is treason against Timmy's and Pacer Studios Incorporated. Is that clear, Whippy? Yeah, it's crystal clear! Good! And the next time you meet the Black Thrasher, you are not to thrash him! Disobey this order, and you'll be charged with the same punishment as friendly fire! Treason! Understood! Play Black Thrasher is good! What happened to our boss? Try getting a visual on their last report position! Roger! Boss is just the Black Thrasher! Guys, to car now! Oh my god. 
Where am I? Bill. Bill, wake up! Wake up already! Science back thrasher! Why? Because you are under suspicion of treason against the ruthless bone who fears no one. Now keep quiet. What if I don't? You'll be silenced by stern means. Like this! <laughs> when our master has finally disposed of both you and Sipsky, as well as the rest of Series 7 Pacer Series Incorporated, he shall rule the world as it shall soon be inhabited by evil living skeletons. You and your companions shall be brought to my master as soon as he wakes up. Uh... Ah, he's waking up now. The end of the human race shall start soon. Time to face destiny, you two. Time to bring you to our all-powerful leader, High Old Bone Sticks. You, you're Nazis. What? Nazis? This doesn't make any sense. We used to be Nazis of the Third Reich, and Bone Sticks is our new Fuhrer. Come with us and prepare to face your doom. Master, we have the two prisoners being escorted to you. Thank you. Open the door to let them in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, move it! Black Thrasher, I am very, very, very disappointed in you! Look, Bone Six, I have so many times. Silence! You betrayed us all, Black Thrasher! Remember, we made a deal! I know that, but I not. I said silence, Welding Face! You would be thrashing anyone or anything if it weren't for me! Remember, I brought you back to the island. I need your help to bring down Simsky here along with the rest of the Zayson Pacer Seals Incorporated so we can turn everyone on the planet into even living skeletons. I was wrong to have trusted you, Black Thrasher. I would never have helped you out if I knew that you had lost your evil instincts in that burial chamber you were dropped in. Bone Six with Black Thrasher talk! Quiet with Simsky! Guard! If Daniel says one more word, Slit his throat with the shattered piece of my mirror he broke earlier. Mm. Bone Six, let Simsky talk. It's not his turn to speak, and it never will be. What were you talking about? As I told you the last time you were in my lair, I gave him a chance to have his last meal, and he took advantage of the freedom I gave him, ruining everything for me in the process. I am not going to make the same mistake with him twice. Listen, Bone Six, he was probably starving. It was a noble choice you made letting him have his last meal. Besides, he probably didn't know anything about the aircraft that shot your finger off. He had to have known about this. He probably tipped him off or something. Now you're stalling me with this argument of yours. His forces are probably on their way to rescue you and Zipsky. <laughs> but Bone Sticks, listen to what I was trying to say to you. I have been told that I gathered about Zimsky. I don't believe you. My men said that this guy here and his men took you prisoner. I spied on him. I just pretended to sign with him. I've got ten pages worth of intel on him and his men. Oh, really? Hand over the intel book I trusted you with. It better be about Zimsky and the staff of Series 7 Pacers Steelers Incorporated. You know exactly what I'll do if it isn't about them, right? That's right, Bo Six. I can't when I'm cuffed. <sighs> All right, whatever. Uncuff him. See what we have here. I bet it's something vital about Simpsons deepest, darkest secrets. What? I am as brilliant weak as a twig and break easy. I have no real strides against Simpsky. Number three. I am a ruthless dictator who wants to kill everyone on the planet. Number four. I have no chance to bring down 77 Pacers Series Incorporated. Number five. No matter how hard I try to win a fight, my efforts will always prove futile. Number six. I'm such a loser at everything. Number seven. I'm related to Adolf Hitler. I don't even know who that is, but number eight here says that I'm a cannibal intent on eating the flesh of those I killed. Number nine here says that I am not to be trusted or be loyal to. And number ten says that I am sentenced to be broken to a million pieces. Black Thrasher, you traitor. I should never have trusted you. <laughs> Impossible! 
How did you two defeat all my men so easily? Lutemski, how did you get free? Simple. Like it says on that intel book, you have Black Thrasher right for you. You and your men have no strength. It was like breaking a bunch of dry twigs scattered all around us. <laughs> you two will pay for all the pain you are inflicting upon me. Where's my most honored skeleton soldier? What shall I do to please my master? The old path of bone sticks. Take this mirror shard and cut Sipsky and Black Thrasher's bones out and bring them to me! Yes, sir. Charge! Come on, most honorable one, use your strength! I'm doing what I can, master. That was too strong. Try harder! I don't want to hear any excuses! Hey, Bone Sticks! This harsh treatment of your own man is gonna be their downfall, and certainly yours too! Not so honorable now, are you, MHSS? Or should I say LHSS? That stands for least hard scouts and soldier, ha 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 ha! Master, help me! I'm coming, my most honored one! Get out of my way, Black Thrasher! No, I am the Black Thrasher, and I am here to bring you down once more. You are the one who should be broken up into millions of pieces, not Daniel Simsky. You caused so much trouble over the course of a millennium, and you had me and my sister, the White Thrasher, and the your pawns. Why do you not? This game that you've been playing for so many decades is over. All of it is over. You're through once and for all, you bonehead. You ruined my reputation and had me under your influence for bring down series and basis you incorporated. I've heard enough from you, you traitorous beast. Time for you and Simpsons to face your doom. You really have no chance, folks. Face it, your efforts have always been are ridiculously futile. I have to put strength to protect you. Do you think your entire army can't break me? <laughs> Master, no! Don't worry, I've got too much tricks on my mind. This isn't the end, Black Thrasher. We'll see about that. Daniel, Cynthia, and I have planned out the best of the end that any two of you have never thought of. Right, Daniel? That's right, Clash Thrasher. Huh? Who's coming to crash the party? <laughs> I know what that is! It's Biffed! <laughs> hey, Spiff, you're a Cypressaur, eyes! Hey, boss, we can't get as fast as we could. Do we miss anything? I'm sorry to say, yes, the Black Thrasher and I have beaten down both six of his men due to his lousy unpreparedness. What did you say? Oh, I'll show you how unprepared, or better yet, how prepared I really am. What? What's he talking about? Wait a minute. Watch out for getting the car. Both of us gotta make himself grow! No. Everyone's still at base. We have a new threat to deal with. Bosix is now giant size and is now hanging in the direction of our base. Go operational fire aircraft airborne immediately. The bomber squadron must not yet take off. Uh, as a, we need fire support to drive Bosix's residents back to base. All fire aircraft are now clear for takeoff. Bomber squadron, do not take off without my proper courage to do so. Any questions? Yes, sir. I have no question. Can it wait? No, it can't. Why do us bother pilots have to wait for the fighters out of way? Don't bombers have weapons too? Yes, but unlike fire aircraft, bombers that are less maneuverable and only have weapons for defense. 
but still, if both six sees you along with the other powers, he'll blast you right out of the air. So we need fire support for driving both six back to his lair to enable us to destroy both at the same time. Now, Jersey Girl, you are not yet clear for takeoff. So do not take off without my power clearance to do so! Yes, sir. No more questions, just do what you're told! Understood. That girl may be a skilled bomber pilot and a soldier, but she could, she's really hard to deal with when she doesn't take emergency seriously. Oh, I see. Well, the thing is, she's not really worth getting mad at. I mean, girls that like her may be such a pain in the neck, but uh, she's not really doing anything on purpose. She just needs to do something to pull off steam. The least you can do is just cut her some slack. Even in an emergency? Yes. When this battle is over, tell Jersey Girl the lesson I just taught you. You know what, Black Thrasher? You're right. You're more smart than I've ever known you to be. <laughs> well, it's been a long time since we've seen any action. Yeah, feels good to be back in action. Let's get this bone-headed stick figure. You really think that such puny aircraft can stop me? Very brave pilots, but futile efforts. Give me your best shot! Alright, you asked for it. Everyone, fire at will. <laughs> Oh, where did they go? They can't have just vanished into thin air. Layer six to boss. Layer six to boss. I mean, boss. The target is leaking security. Rookie, the target is leaking security. Okay, Mail 6. Alright, everyone. All bombers are clear for takeoff. Take off as soon as you're straight down the runway. Target coordinates is 4173-5410. That's where you need to drop your plasma bombs. That's right, Jersey Girl! Today's your lucky day! I'd be assigned to an aircraft on my own when the battle's over. What? What, Thrasher? Uh, don't you have an aircraft already? No, nothing you assigned me to unless... Wait a minute. The jet I flew in return to Black Thrasher. Yeah, that jet. Why, do you think we can repair it? Because I remember shooting you down and thinking that you perished in the crash. Well, yeah, I hope you didn't damage it beyond repair. I hope so too, Black Thrasher. I'm sorry I had to shoot you down. It's okay, Dale. I was evil back then. Yeah, that's true, but do you know where the aircraft is? Probably somewhere in the Zatark River where it crashed. Really? It's still there after all this time? I figured that if an aircraft did happen to crash into the Zatark River, someone would notice the wreckage and try to fish it out. But even if it could still be residing in there after all this time, the recent switch back in January must have uh, finally washed it out. But I'll tell you what, Black Thrasher. When this battle's over, you and I are going to find the jet and fish it out and try to repair it. Don't worry, we'll see if I'm, what we can do with it. And we'll figure something out for you if your jet can't be repaired. Thank you, Darren. You're a really awesome guy. Thanks, you too, Black Thrasher. Glad we're on the same side. <laughs> I guess I underestimated the power of 77 Pacers to Incorporated. 
This isn't over. I'll be back and you will pay. All of you will pay. The target has returned to this lair. Repeat, target has returned to this lair. Shaggy, Shaggy, and Turkey, let me kill! Stop that This seems like a world of Yeah, that those of us have no world left to go. Commence diving to keep down. I hope I'm right about this. The roof better hold! Throne room. Curse you, Sipsky. Curse you, Black Thrasher. Curse you, Semi Sam Baser Studios Incorporate. Curse you, human race. And curse you, Planeters. If I can't conquer the Earth, I'll destroy you instead. I hate you. I hate all of you. This will not be the last time anybody sees me. Ah! Ugh. Oh no, I can't feel my body! No! My body, my beautiful stick body destroyed! Uh oh! I'm always right, you bone headed stick figure. Gregory, open the zombie door. 10 4, copy the. Now, drop them. Anything but bombs! No! Voice for Diane to base. Voice for Diane to base. Come in base. Over. We hear you loud and clear, Voice for Diane. Go ahead! Target bond and rendered in compass. Repeat. Target bond and rendered in compass. Over. Acknowledged! Well done, Diane! Thanks. Is the battle over? Yes, Diane, the battle is over. We have defeated the genocidal bonehead stick figure who calls himself Bone Sticks. Never again will he be a danger to the peace and goodness of this beautiful planet Earth. So, what next? Next, all board aircraft are to RTB. The Black Thrasher and I have to take care of Bone Sticks. 10 4, copy that. And wait a minute, I thought the Black Thrasher was evil. You didn't he take care of him too? Voice Forge Diane, listen. The Black Thrasher used to be evil. Compliments of Bone Sticks. You see, Bone Sticks were behind all the threats against the peace and goodness of Sean Connecticut. It was using the Black Thrasher as one of his pawns. Now he is on the side of good. He has helped me, and he and I were captured by Bone Sticks' and skeleton soldiers. And the two of us were brought before Bone Sticks who got into an argument with him. I tried to break up the argument. Bosex cut me off and had one of his men hold a broken piece of glass at my throat, threatening to split it if I interrupted him again. Black Dasher then gave Bosex intel on him before freeing me. I'm not kidding you, Diane. If not for the Black Dasher, I would have been killed. Okay, sir. Let me get this straight. Your former nemesis has redeemed himself and turned good. Yes, he's now one of us. Sound good? Well, yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry sir, but I find it hard to believe that your old nemesis has turned good. It's okay Diane, I know what it's like to have a hard time accepting changes in life. I mean, who hasn't had difficulty accepting changes in life? Good point. Over and out.
right, everyone, we did it. Once again, the Earth has been saved from the evil Bone Sticks and his dreaded army. Anybody here know how we can dispose of Bone Sticks once and for all? Can we kill me? No, Jersey Girl, we tried that already, but Bone Sticks can't be killed. Given that he's immortal, he has to be banished somewhere else, a lot farther than ever before. Why not use another beast to rob it? Been there, done that, but uh, we learned our lesson when he came back down to Earth. The last time we bashed him using a V2 rocket, we uh, didn't uh, send him up high enough to be, for him to be stuck in orbit forever. Well, if the V2 rocket wasn't enough to permanently banish bone sticks, what will be enough? Wait, hold on a second. I gotta check out how it he's doing on the flight monsters there. Hey, Wimpy, are the flight modifications for Spiffs complete yet? Just a second, the final touch! I just need to put this panel cover on the panel here! There, all done! Done yet? You need to test my transformation! Oh yeah, that's right! First step, you need to be backed out the garage before you can transform! Oh yeah, the wingspan is too big to fit in the garage. I never thought that. And by the way, Wimpy, I can back myself out. That's a new seatbelt. <laughs> modification on the display paper 5000. It's a can now transform into a vehicle capable of a flight and space travel. With this vehicle, the Black Dasher, my crew and I will send Bone 6 up into the planet Jupiter. You know, that uh, huge gassy planet with the great red spot? Yeah, that one. Well, he'll be stuck in there forever. If that won't kill him, he's gonna wish himself dead. You know, it's starting to pity that bonehead, but still, it's necessary to deliver such a punishment. Especially kind of to uh, it's such an immortal being who's uh, bent on global genocide. Everyone dismissed. We're setting some Pacer Studios! <laughs> Mr. Big Guy number one, number two, you meet me and, and we'll be inspected. Okay, everyone, brace yourselves, because we are going to go at extremely fast speed when we clear the atmosphere. Activate the flying mode.
view. Hey, Whippy, do we have oxygen on board? Yes, we do. Activate oxygen equipment. <laughs> oxygen equipment activated. We got two days. That's more than enough to get the Jupiter back. Two days? Wait, wait, hold on a second. Jupiter is an extremely long way from here, so we need a lot more oxygen than two days for a trip to, to Jupiter. If I remember correctly, during the Apollo missions, the astronauts took three days to go to the moon and then another three days to get back. Jupiter is a much greater distance here than the moon, and that's such would require like a week or so to get to Jupiter and another, another week or two to get back to Earth. No problem, boss, but tell me, did the Apollo astronauts have hyperspace capabilities? No. Of course not. That's what we have. That's right, boss. Give it a try. Hyperspace, huh? Well, <laughs> this may sound like science fiction, but I gotta admit, I, I gotta give this a try. I mean, every newly built machine needs a new test run, right? Waiting on you, boss. All right, Spift. All right, everyone, buckle up. We're about to go into hyperspace. Right. Okay, everyone's buckled up. Commence hyperspace now. Wait, Dale, I need to make the proper calculations. Seriously, proper calculations? Sir, traveling through hyperspace is nothing like dusting cracks. Without extremely precise calculations, we'd end up crashing into anything like an asteroid, another planet, or even a black hole. That might be a trip really fast, wouldn't it? What? Oh. Hang on there a minute, Spiff. You have a protective shell, don't you? Well, that may be true, but that was designed to only work on the planet Earth and was originally never meant to go into space. So I do have a weakness when I exit the atmosphere, but I'm scheduled to get the upgrade to my protective show in about a month or so. Wimpy just needs to do more research on the technology and conduct more experiments and tests that the armor upgrade must pass before he's ready for action. Oh, the calculations have been made, and we are now heading in the precise direction of Jupiter. Yes, I have bone six right here. Oh, where am I? What happened? Sorry, bone six, but this is the end for you and all the trouble you caused in Chunk, Connecticut. As punishment for your crimes, you are sentenced to be stuffed on the planet Jupiter for all eternity. You mean you're giving me a fair plan to conquer the Earth? Uh, not exactly. It's a form of banishment. A permanent one, too. There's no surface to land on, really. Jupiter consists of super hot gases of extremely hot temperatures beyond imagination. It's higher than the sun, in fact. Even tungsten, the metal with the highest melting point in existence, will melt easily in this kind of temperature. Believe me, Bone Six, you wouldn't survive in Jupiter's atmosphere. Oh yeah, I can survive a thousand years in area ten times the inside of the sun. We'll see about that. In fact, this will be the last time anybody hears from you. Never again will you threaten humanity! That's right, phone sticks. Never again will the human race be in danger from your evil plan of global genocide. And you will never ever be brainwashing anybody ever again. Even if I don't ever come back, there will be more evil tours that will take my place. And one of them will finally bring down 77 pages of Sears Incorporated and carry out my plan of global genocide. Well, phone sticks, you may be partly right. Sure, there are other villains who will try carrying out their evil plan. But even the majority of even supervillains have standards, and as such, we want to destroy your human rights. You, my friend, are the most evil living being the universe has ever known. Time for you to be trapped in Jupiter. Goodbye forever, you bonehead. Ejection cam loaded. Aiming towards Jupiter. The red spot. Locked on. Fire! I hate living things. I hate them all. I will be avenged. The human race shall be wiped out completely to pay for my defeats and banishment. Ah! It's really painful. I'm feeling as old as the heat is ripping me apart. I can't possibly bear this kind of punishment for all eternity. Yes! We did it, everyone! It's the end of Bone Sticks! We ain't ever gonna hear from him again! Alright.
I'm glad that I could attend the end of such a villainous monster. Can we go home now, Donald? Sure, Black Slasher, certainly! Let's go home! <laughs>